if you've downloaded and attempted to install third-party applications on a Mac Catalina machine, you've likely encountered this dialog. The dialog indicates that the application can't be opened because Apple hasn't checked it for malicious software. The reason this is occurring is, starting with Catalina, Apple has introduced a new notarization process where developers of the app send the finished software to Apple to get it notarized, and then it's allowed to be installed using the normal install process on a Mac Catalina machine. Now, all older software created prior to Catalina has not been author notarized, and even going forward, a lot of third-party applications are unlikely to go through Apple's notarization process. But in this video, we'll show you how you can easily create an installer, try it out, make sure you have it just the way you want it, and then send it to Apple for notarization within just a few minutes. And the process is to build and test your installer on your own local machine to make sure everything's set up just the way you like it, and then you'll send it to Apple for notarization. We're using the Click Install application from Excel Software. We're creating an installer for an application called ShipIt, and we do that by creating a source folder on our hard drive that contains the application, any support files, user guides, and such and then an output folder where we want the installer to be generated to. We also pick some other uh, images and, and other, put some other information in there related to building the installer screen. For example, we might want a license agreement where the user is presented with that agreement prior to the install process. You're also going to want to code sign your installer with Apple. To do code signing, you'll follow the instructions presented here where it will have you log into an Apple developer account and generate a code signing certificate that you can download to your local computer and then you can use it to code sign your applications in the installer itself. Once we have everything set up the way we want to build our installer, we're going to go ahead and click the build button and we'll have to wait a few moments until the installer is built. Here we see the output folder with our generated installer. It also creates a zipped file of that installer. That's the file that you're actually going to upload to your website. And when a customer clicks a link on your website, it'll download that zip file to their local computer and Safari will automatically unzip it and then the installer will be ready to run. We're gonna go ahead and run the installer first on our local computer to make sure everything's set up the way we want and then it'll be ready to notarize. So when the installer is launched, a screen pops up and you customize the look of that screen and the text and such. And then there is our license agreement. And then if the user agrees, they'll continue with the install process. And at the end of the process, there will be a folder created to the applications folder and it will have your application uh, installed and ready for use. Now that we have our installer built, tested, and ready to go, let's send it to Apple for notarization. To do that, we're going to have to construct a unique bundle ID. It's like the reverse domain of a website to keep it unique and include a unique installer name in that bundle ID. You're going to need an Apple ID entered into this field, and we need an app-specific password that we create within our Apple account. The full instructions for notarizing an application or installer with Apple is included here in this instruction panel, which you'll want to read over uh, before you go through this process. We can click the Apple account button and then log into an Apple account. We've already done that, and we've scrolled down to the section called security and in that section you can click an app specific password which is what we're going to do now so we're going to give a name to this password so we can remember later what it's used for and then it's going to generate the app specific password which we're going to copy and paste it into this field and now we're ready to go ahead and submit 
our installer to Apple for notarization. So we do that by clicking on the submit button and click yes. And it's now being uploaded to Apple's server and it will take generally 10, 15 minutes before you get a response back from Apple indicating that it has been successfully received and notarized. Once the application has been uploaded to Apple for notarization, you'll get this message and a unique request UUID field is assigned to your application installer. Now it's just a matter of waiting for Apple to complete the notarization process. And at the end of that, they'll send you a success or failure message by email associated with your Apple developer account. While you're waiting, you can check the status of your submission by clicking the response field. And here we can see it has actually been approved and there's a log field that gives more information. If we click that field, we can look at details of the uh, process. And if we scroll to the very bottom, we see any issues that Apple may have identified with your installer. Here we see there were none. And so now we know that uh, the process is almost complete. All we have to do is click the staple button. And now we have an installer that's ready for distribution.